And we heard Donald Trump say he may not be ready to accept the outcome of the election. And as you just saw there in that piece, a lot of voters might not be either. Two News reporter Charlie Sigordon digging deeper into this and ask, asking how this could impact the election. A new poll from NBC News shows 31% of voters might not accept the results if their preferred candidate loses. The sentiment is even stronger among Republicans. I sat down with a political science professor at Cedarville University, and he says this kind of rhetoric can be detrimental. It's a little bit dangerous, honestly. It's not very comforting to see large chunks of the electorate say they would not support an election result. Cedarville political science professor Mark Caleb Smith says this election cycle has been anything but conventional. But for a candidate and their supporters to say they will not accept the results if they lose before the majority of the country has even voted is unprecedented. The key figure in that will be Mr. Trump. If he handles himself a certain way, if he gives validity and legitimacy to Mrs. Clinton's victory, if that happens, then I hope his supporters would take that cue. At the same time, if he's very uh, confrontational about it and questions the integrity of the process, then his supporters will take that cue as well. He says there could be unrest, but that is a worst-case scenario. In a race full of surprises, voters have learned to expect the unexpected. This election is nothing but weird and unusual. There's nothing conventional about it, nothing common. Mr. Trump is an odd candidate. Whether you support him or don't, he's not a conventional, typical candidate. He conducts himself very differently, and that's affected the race, I think. Mrs. Clinton is also not very popular and not very liked, even within her own party in some ways. And so putting these two together has created a strange and historic race. He says Ohioans can expect a lot of attention over the next 18 days. Lots of political ads, campaign stops until November 8th. Charlie Gordon, 5 on 2.